Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good whatever time of day it is and whatever part of the world you're at right now. Welcome back to my channel, Ask Nolan. And today, we're going to do a short algebraic lesson on factoring polynomials when the leading coefficient is greater than 1. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. So, if you watch one of my previous videos, I'm going to use a similar method, which is the A times C method. So first, we need to identify our terms. A is 2, B is 3, and C is negative 9. Okay? So when we zoom in, we're going to do our A times C which is equal to positive 2 times negative 9. And that final answer is going to be negative 18. Now what we need to do is factor the 18, the negative 18. So let's find the factors of 18. 1, negative 1, and positive 18. Positive 1, and negative 18. Negative 2, and positive 9. Positive 2, and negative 9. Uh, negative 3, and positive 6. And then positive 3, and negative 6. Now, the next thing we need to do is we want to add these factor pairs up. And when we add, we're looking for the factor pair. We're going to add, and we're looking for the factor pair that gives us a positive B. Remember, B is equal to positive 3. So we're looking for which one of these factor pairs makes positive 3. This is going to be positive 17. This is negative 17. This is positive 7. This is negative 7. This is positive 3. And this last one is negative 3. Remember, we're looking for the pair that makes positive 3. So our two factors that we're going to use are negative 3 and positive 6. So now we want to rewrite our polynomial using those two factor pairs. Okay? So that's going to give us 2n to the second power minus 3n plus 6n minus 9. Now, this helps us. Now what we're going to do is what we call, we're going to factor by grouping. All right, so when we factor by grouping, we're going to have to, we're basically, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to split our polynomial, our new polynomial. I'm just going to split it. So we're looking at, two groups of uh, terms. The first group is negative 2n minus 3n, excuse me, negative 2n squared minus 3n. And then the second group is positive 6n minus 9. So we want to look for our greatest common factor between, for each group. So for, for the first pair, the 2n squared and the negative 3n, the, the thing that they both have in common is n. That is the greatest, that's that greatest common factor. 2 and 3 don't have a common factor other than 1, so we can't factor any anything when it comes to the coefficient. So if we take an n from each one of those terms, we'll be left with 2n and negative 3, or 2n minus 3. Now we want to do the same thing for the second pair, the 6n and the negative 9. Both of those, what the, what's the greatest common factor between a positive 6 and a negative 9? That's going to be positive 3. And if we divide each of these terms here by positive 3, okay, what will we end up with? Well, 6n divided by 3 is 2n, and negative 9 divided by positive 3 is negative 3. Now, if you notice, you'll see here that we really have one of the factors repeats the factor that's in the parentheses, okay? So we're almost done. Now to finish it up, the one that repeats, the factor pair that repeats, which is the 2n minus 3, we see that both times, we're going to only write that once. 2n minus 3. Now our other, our other factors are going to come from right here. The positive n and the positive 3, we're going to write that together in one group. So positive n and positive 3. So both of our factors, our two factors here, is 2n minus 3 times n plus 3. And this would be our final answer here if we factor that polynomial, okay? So let's take a look at number 2 and see what this one looks like when we do the work. First thing we want to do first is after we label a, b, and c, we're going to do a, a times b, okay? So we want, we want a times, excuse me, a times c. So a times c for this polynomial, a is positive 3 and c is negative 5. So positive 3 times negative 5 makes negative 15. And now we're going to factor it. So 1 times negative 15, negative 1 times positive 15, 3 times negative 5, and negative 3 times positive 5. Now we want to add all those things up. And when we add them up, we want to know which one is going to equal the, the B term. Remember, it's gonna, it has to be equal to our B term. Our B term for this one, B is equal to negative 2. So we're looking for the grouping, which pairs of factors when we add them up equals negative 2. So let's add. The first pair is going to be negative 14. The second pair is going to be positive 14. The third pair is going to be negative 2, and the last pair is going to be positive 2. Remember, we're looking for the one that gives us negative 2. So the factor pairs that we're going to use here are the positive 3 and the negative 5. So now when I rewrite this, we're going to rewrite it to say, when we rewrite this polynomial, we're going to say 3x squared plus 3x minus 5, x minus 5, okay? So just to make sure we're on the same page, the positive 3, x comes from the positive 3 and the factor pair. And then the... The negative 5, x, comes from the negative 5 and the factor pair, okay? Now that we know where those two come from, now we need to do the second part, which is the um, factor by grouping, okay? So we're going to split it in two parts, and we're going to look at the 3x squared plus 3x first. 
So what do those two terms have in common? What's their greatest common factor? Well, both of them, I can, I can take a three, I can divide both of them by three, and I can divide both of them by x, because both of them have at least one x. So, if we, to get what goes inside the parentheses, we have to do, we have to do 3x squared, we have to divide basically both of these terms by 3x. Okay, so I would divide this by 3x, oops, and then I would divide the second term by 3x, and that's how we figure out what goes inside the parentheses. So for us, going inside the parentheses, 3x squared divided by 3x would just leave us with x, and then positive 3x divided by positive 3x would just leave us with positive 1, okay? So that's how we, now we factor that completely, we can get back to the second pair now, the second group, which is negative 5x minus 5. Well, what do both of these have in common? Both of these um, have, a, have a, in common a negative 5, so we can, we can pull out a negative 5, which means divide both of these by negative 5 and figure out what goes inside the parentheses. Well, negative divided by negative is a positive, and 5 divided by 5 is going to be 1, so that's just 1x, or just x, right? I'm going to use the red to keep the colors the same. And then once again, you have negative 5 divided by negative 5, which is positive 1. So, when we do these problems here, um, just like we did the first one, we notice that one of the, the parentheses, the expression inside the parentheses is the same. Okay? When that happens, that's, that's, this, these type of problems are what I call self-check. It's self-check because if you end up with the same expression inside the parentheses, then that means you did it correctly. Okay? So one of our, our final answer here is going to be x plus 1, right? Because both that was what was in the parentheses. You see it twice, you write it once. Okay? And then our other group is going to come from the two terms that are on the outside of the parentheses. So the positive 3x and the negative 5, we're going to write both of those inside this group over here. So that's going to become 3x minus 5. And this is the final answer in the factored form, okay, for number 2. Final answer, okay? So, no, that's not how we spell it. Final answer. All right. So that's how you do that. Um, hopefully this helps you all out. I'll see y'all later next time. Deuces.